Uh, Christy Brinkley has filed for divorce from her fourth husband, Peter Cook, who cheated on her with the 19-year-old. Fez, do you remember your... Radio psychic. Radio psychic. Well, you said those two lovebirds would get back together. You guaranteed it. Is that what I said? Yes, you did. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, somehow I miscalled that one. Oh. Well, once it's on the front page of the Post, and the Post headline was... Uh, what's the husband's name? Peter Cook. I, I don't know, because you don't read the post, right? I pick up the post one day. The headline is, Peter Cook finally gets some tight pussy. And I go, this is going to break up a marriage. <laughs> that seems a little hard for Christy Brinkley to live down, especially right. where, with her Hamptons crew. Oh, that girl, uh, unbelievable. Diana Bonacci, the 19-year-old. Mm. So maybe... P Peter Cook actually said this. He says, uh, fucking her was like trying to fit your cock into a watch pocket. That is tight. <laughs> so, Peter Cook, I wonder if he'll go back with the 19-year-old now. I would imagine she's just out of the picture. I don't know whether you saw her being interviewed on TV, but she wants some money. She doesn't want him. She wants some money for everything. He said he... she On TV, she said he just fucking banged the fuck out of me. She says, it's unbelievable what he did to me. And hopefully a recording contract. One point, I guess he had leaned her back so far, he accidentally uh, hit her in the ass with it. He says accidentally, but I think he just had his own point of view. I was wondering about this. Uh, let me just tell you this. He said the pussy was tighter than the ass. Really? Which is rare. Which is very, very rare. I think then you want to see some sort of proctologist or well, something. What were you wondering about? Heterosex? No, I wasn't thinking about heterosex. Ever? No. Hmm. I was thinking about um, when you go into a McDonald's and you get the soda fountain drink, the Coke there. Has anyone else ever noticed this? The McDonald's Coca-Cola tastes different than any other place's Coca-Cola. Did I make you so nervous <laughs> talking about heterosex? <laughs> Sex. That's the transmission that you made that quickly? Oh, no, I wasn't nervous. We're sitting here talking about a guy banging a 19-year-old, <laughs> and your next question is McDonald's soda. I was just, I've just always noticed that their Coca-Cola tastes absolutely different than anyone else's Coca-Cola. It's actually... It's it, a fountain drink. Yeah. That's, that's what it, the difference is, fountain drink. But even places that have it on the fountain... You know, other, you know, other restaurants, like Wendy's or something. It's the, the McDonald's Coca-Cola seems to have like a little bit spicier, like it's a cinnamon or a nutmeg almost to it. Let me just tell you, he took that big cock of his and forced it right in her tight little pussy. <laughs> McDonald's. You're sweating like a fucking mm. slave over there. You're so nervous. I'd actually totally agree with Fez. There's a richness to it and a pleasurability about the McDonald's Coke. That and there's not to banging a 19-year-old. That means nothing to you guys. Well, not if, unless she comes from McDonald's. It, the, the, the Coke is... All right, let me, let me get into this premise. It's sweeter? Is that what you're saying? It's not sweeter. It's like it's spicier. It's almost like there's a peppery or cinnamon taste to it. Earl, you back him up on this? I know you go to McDonald's. Yeah, give me, this, I'll, I'll take all the fries you can give me. Yeah, this definitely has a richer taste. I don't know about a spicier taste. I can't get anyone on this show, on the fucking Dream Team show, to discuss pussy with me. But, oh, fountain drinks at McDonald's. You guys are standing in a line. You're standing into a line to give this out. Uh, you can't fool around with the Coca-Cola product, Fez. It's not like McDonald's can do something extra, the Coca-Cola product. Well, I mean, I understand, you know, there could be difference on the soda fountains where, you know, there's more syrup or, you know, carbonated water going in. It's just supposedly going to be the exact same recipe. Why would Coca-Cola allow McDonald's to have a different Coca-Cola than everyone else? I don't know, unless, you know, there's some sort of deal between McDonald's and Coca-Cola where they get a, you know, a different kind to make it more unique to McDonald's. That's not what brands do. When you have the Coca-Cola brand, which is probably the number one brand on the, in the world, if it's not top five, the last thing they're going to start doing is fucking around with the product so that you get a different Coke every time you go out.
They must, they've got to be doing something different with it because it has a very distinct, different flavor than if you. You know go- what it is probably for you? What hamburger back backwash? You fuck. <laughs> you're so sloppy. You're eating your burgers so fast. You're getting some backwash there. Uh, John, you're on my face. Hey, what's up, buddies? Hey. Um, uh, my one of my friends work for Coke, and they. Uh, I'm on my own radio show. So I know, I'm, and I'm off. proud of it, Ron. All right. Uh, <laughs> no, but they work for Coke, and they sell the McDonald's in very large quantities. And it's usually different than the bag and boxes you see in most of the stores, like the small uh, bags of syrup. They'll sell the Coke in very large containers, and supposedly it's like the best tasting fountain soda you could get at McDonald's. All right, so because they're selling so much of it, the syrup is different. Yeah, they say it's like one of the purest forms of you know Coke syrup you could get because um, they're a huge customer of McDonald's. Is. I gotta get one of these cokes. I gotta have a McDonald's Coke. Oh, we gotta get a McDonald's Coke and a Fountain Coke from someplace else. We're on that. Our new intern, Spacey's going to get that. Okay, hold on. Spacey? Yeah. Why is he fucking called Spacey? He's a little spacey eyed and he sort of resembles Kevin Spacey, so it works both ways. <laughs> is that his name or are you calling him that? I call him Spacey. You're not fucking naming interns. Get out of here. I don't get that privilege anymore. You never had that privilege. Bronx Johnny was mine. The guy's name is Johnny, and he's from the Bronx. <laughs> You're going to fucking take credit for that? Dave thinks he named the Bronx as well. Uh, Fez uh, got his name from that 70s show. I did not. I was around long before that Fez character. You were lo- around longer than the steam engine, <laughs> so I know. I don't think that has anything to do with my name, sir. <laughs> you were in that 1870s show. Uh, Chris, you around a Fez. Yeah, I, I got to agree with Fez. Uh, I just went into uh, McDonald's and bought a Coke, and uh, I think it does taste completely different. It's different than any other Coke out there. I just want to tell you the truth. I normally know who steps on their Coke and who doesn't step on their Coke. And I had no idea McDonald's is better. I don't even know if it's better. It's just different. So now you're acting like it's worse than other <laughs> Cokes. It's spicier. Spicier sounds better to me. It actually kind of, yeah, it's almost like some sort of Christmas potpourri or something like that. It's got a real cinnamony thing to it. Fucking starving over here. We got any potpourri, Earl? Don't eat the potpourri. Uh, Bill, uh, Bill, you're on running Fez. Yeah, I think uh, if you order a pop from McDonald's, you'll notice the straw's a little bit bigger, and it's best to tell you you get a wider shaft on something like that, you get a better flavor. You know what? Yeah, we could all make fun of Fez, but you use the word pop, so well, I, I don't think I don't think that's... it's start time to do homo jokes. I just got a pop here. Where are you calling from? 1954? The how's fucking Archie and Veronica and the whole gang? Is it all going on? Is everything swell? Mmm, a delicious soda pop. He doesn't even say soda pop. Just a pop. Then he's off to the bijou. Uh, Eric, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hey, I used to, I used to work for a McDonald's no, I got my own radio so, show, so fuck that. Hey, and you know, it's a damn good show. Yeah. Uh, Could be better. The, 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 the I liked it when we were talking about pussy fucking 15 minutes ago. Yeah, I did too. Um, all of the Coke, the, the restaurant, irregardless of the restaurant. All right, hold on. This, from, all right, that's the same uh, check, right? That's the same teacher? Yeah, that's Deborah Lefebvre. Okay. She looks fantastic today. They call uh, her the sex ed teacher. The only thing she shouldn't do is open up that dope mouth of hers. But she looks great today. Is that uh, Tampa Fez? Yeah. Yeah, that's her in a Tampa courtroom. Her husband leave her? Yeah. Yeah, he took off. Idiot. He should fucking dress up in a Cub Scout uniform and bang her every night. Apparently, he wasn't getting any sex, I Is guess. Is that right? Yeah, I guess the 14-year-old was getting it all. What do you mean, it all? A woman can never stop. It's not like they're acting like, oh, I can't get it up again. Oh, no, I already had it once. I can't get it wet again. She was saying that in her Matt Lauer interview last night on Dateline NBC. Oh. Where um, uh, that sex in her marriage started out great, and then it really became non-existent. And she told Matt, she goes, it really wasn't that important to us. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, here is um, Alright let's go to Kyle Kyle you're on my face 
Yeah, I, I just wanted to help uh, Fezzi out there. It's not cinnamon or nutmeg. It's actually ginger, it tastes like. Ginger, that's it. You put your finger on it. Oh, does it hurt? That's the one. Not it my just ginger. Right in. It just slipped right in. Uh, Dan, Dan, you're on running Fez. I, I completely agree with Fez. I went to Bogota, Colombia. The Coke is completely different there. Let me tell you something. The Coke that I would get and the Coke that I would uh, sell, completely different taste. When I was selling it, it tasted more like Tide or Clorox. <laughs> <laughs> that hasn't stepped on at all. Uh, let me go to uh, Gary. Gary, you're on running Fez. Hey, man, the bite on those McDonald's Cokes, it's bite. It's colder. Colder, Fez. Is that what you're tasting? No. Ice? I don't think I'm tasting a, uh, a drop in temperature. I don't think that would change the flavor of it at all. Your new belief now in this Coca-Cola theory of yours is ginger. Yeah. Earl, where's the two places he's getting fountain Cokes from? Um, he gets them from... Oh, God, I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. How can you draw a blank? Well, you wh sent the fucking kid out. Where'd you tell him to get Coke from? Oh, there's a McDonald's right down the block. And where else? In the place downstairs. Um, we sent them downstairs to the, uh, to the deli. Downstairs. Okay. How's he drawing a blank? He just sends a kid out to <laughs> grab two Cokes. Well, half the answer was given to him because we're talking about McDonald's. Uh, Tom, you're on running Fez. Hey, Ronnie. I'm yeah. a 46-year-old married dude, man. Can we steer the conversation back to 19-year-old pussy? All right, you're making Fez dry heave again. Do not bring that word up to him. And the thing about McNuggets... Fez is more interested in the McNuggets. You don't even completely do the Fez voice anymore when you do that, do you? Oh, no. no. How come? I don't know. I think it's... Uh, I don't even know if I remember how. Hello, love. I don't think it was that bad. You remember, you used to get laughs after it. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. Fez is here. No, it's just like this. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, huh? I'm Fez. Bang the guy. Yeah, I'm Fez. <laughs> uh, John, you're on Fez. Yeah, a little known fact. Nancy Grace and Roy Kroc in bed together. Nancy Grace gets the celebrities, Roy Kroc gets the average Joe. What are you on, uh, fucking West Coast time? You're picking up uh, the bit a little later? Keep up. Maybe there is a delay on this thing. He's like uh, like at the 5K when the fucking guy on the crutches finally comes in <laughs> after everybody else is already at the bar. I'm still going to finish. I'm still going to finish. He gets a smattering of applause, though, from the people that were left there to, waiting to cheer him on. Dave, where's Spacey at? He's hustling, but, you know, it's lunch hour, and maybe some of the Wall Street crowd is uh Wall McDonald's. Street crowd? What are they, fucking coming all the way uptown to get their you, uh, Coca-Cola? This McDonald's on 57th is really out of this world. How far is it from uh, from Wall Street? Dave. I'm not sure where Wall Street is exactly. I mean, I would always picture it to be Midtown because I see a lot of people in suits around here. You think that only fucking brokers wear suits? Yeah, I mean, no, but I mean, it's just there seems to be a flux of people in suits around this neighborhood. So I always assume that Wall Street's got to be like down the block somewhere. 52nd, maybe. Or... It's about what, 90 blocks from here, Earl? 80 blocks? Yeah, it's, it's like the tip of Manhattan. Practically. It's the tip of Manhattan. Maybe you saw a little documentary called 9-11. Take a look where all the action was at. Is that Wall Street? That was Wall Street. I had no idea about that. I mean, when you watch the movie Wall Street, it seems like every scene is Central Park. and that's You watched Wall-Eyed, you motherfucker. Your own family tape. <laughs> oh, he's spooky looking. Here he is. Is this Spacey? <laughs> yes, Spacey just came back. <laughs> and has no idea why he's being called Spacey. This sucks. First day. Already the Spacey thing is starting up again. Spacey came back with a shrimp cocktail and some coleslaw. So that's what you wanted? That's an <laughs> If he did come back from Wall Street, it was incredibly fast. If he just went... Uh... No, he thinks that, that Wall Street comes all the way up here. <laughs> That kid better not be going to Wall Street. Uh, Kevin, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Hey, you know, I used to work in a restaurant. I was a chef. And uh, well, the guys that I knew that were... Yeah, I know. It's a good one, too. Thank the guys you. that I knew that were in the restaurant business, they uh, told me that McDonald's has a policy of every week they brick their machines, which means to adjust the flavors to certain levels, as opposed to any other places that, uh, you know, only will adjust them when they run into problems with their flavoring or they get a complaint. All right, let's, uh, we just got these two cups, Fezzi, unmarked, right? There are ones yep. from the deli and ones from McDonald's. We don't know which is which. Right. Look at color alone. Yeah, one is much lighter than the other one. Mo yeah, one seems to be darker. Now let's do the smell taste like you would. Mm-hmm. I would say the darker one smells a little stronger, but I'm not picking up the ginger. I would agree with that, that the, the, the darker one yeah. has a stronger aroma to it, Coke smell to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm now going for much stronger. But you know what? This one seems to have like uh, some fizz going, and the one on the left seems flat to Ooh, me. Yeah, a little deader. All right, let's take, uh, take a taste. Tastes like uh, Coke. That's uh, cup number one. Cup number one. Now we both go to our darker cup. Cup number two. Ah, mm. Be sure to spit. To me, they both taste like Cokes. To me, I can tell which one is the McDonald's one. What's that? The lighter one is the McDonald's one. All right, take, uh, let's go over to Dave. Fez is absolutely correct. Now, what are you basing that on, Fez? Um, the lighter one, cup one actually has when you when you put it in your mouth has like a mouthwash aftertaste to it oh my, it, that was along the lines of that spicier thing i was saying the darker one cup number two that has i'm going to tell you right now cup number two has way more taste than cup number one cup number one seems like it's watered down cup number two seems a little bit more uh syrup to it so cup number two would be the better mm. coke Yeah, unless you like this mouthwash taste. Um, did Spacey pick up any fries and maybe a Big Mac to do this correctly? Uh, not yet, no, but we could send Spacey out again. He's very I'm fast. Only kidding. Back to Wall Street. <laughs> they didn't go to Wall Street. Oh. He thinks Wall Street is here. <laughs> 57th and Wall. A wacky fucking show we have. Taste test and Coke. Uh, Clarence, you're on Ron Fez. Yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know uh, that the uh, the 12 ounce can coat tastes a lot better than the 20 ounce plastic bottle. So, uh, something well, uh, going yeah, on with that too. I'm a glass bottle guy, and for Coke, the small glass bottle is the gimmick. And when you're in a real nice restaurant, they always come out with that little glass bottle and open it in front of you. Look at this. You live in life. This is like an eight ounce <laughs> Coke. I don't know why, but it does taste better. It tastes really good. The problem with the eight ounce is there's just you're you're constantly having the waiter bring another one out. Yeah, one is just not nearly enough. And you're diabetic, huh? What a shock. Yeah, I am. Too much sugar in my system. Uh Jake, Jake, you're on running fuzz. Uh, yeah. How you guys doing? Good. I was wondering what the hell's Fezzy doing drinking all these soda pops, eating pies? Isn't he supposed to be diabetic? Is he falling off the wagon? Fez, is that bothering you at all? No, it doesn't bother me. Uh, Fez! Uh, Fez! Uh, well, Fez is dead. Uh, Dominic, you're on running Fez. Hey, boys, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, I know exactly where that moron called earlier that used the, the old Archie's terminology of pop. Yeah. Um, I'm originally from western New York, the Buffalo area, and they still use that shit down there. Thank God I moved to Connecticut and learned how to say soda. They say pop there? Pop still. Everything is pop even in the advertising in the stores. They ought to use the word hayseed for everything that <laughs> they uh, go out there with. Pop. And they call lollipops suckers in Buffalo, which I always thought was sexual and wrong. In a, in a way. Look, before we attack Buffalo, they did come up with the chicken wing. Let's give them uh, credit for that. 
and Greg from Buffalo Fez came through like gangbusters for us yesterday. And sending us some very nice gifts. He sent a bunch of Labatt's Blue for me. In fact, even a six-pack of it was the non-alcoholic Labatt's Blue. I didn't even know that they had that kind of beer. What is that? Will you serve your uncle? Yeah, exactly. He had a bit of a drinking problem. I don't, you know what the Indian word for a drinking problem is, Fez? No. Watley. They literally call it a Watley. And if you drink so bad you find men unattractive, they call that a Fez Watley. Relax. Have a pop. I'll have a Coke. Pop was something different in my fucking family. If, you, if your uncle took you out for a pop, you come back high. Alex, you're running Fez. We lost you, bro. Uh, Eric, you're on a Fez. I miss Dead Fez. Yeah, he was great. Yeah, hey, uh, between those two cokes, I'm willing to bet that the darker of the two will not be the richer one. Fez, you know what, as a matter of fact, you were wrong because I have my number two was the McDonald's Coke. Really? Yeah. This should have an MC on the bottom of it. Yeah, mine too. So... I did that just to trick you. That was just mind games. But I know which one's the... I, I remember. you mean just a trick? Because I just saw it now, you moron. <laughs> I thought you were going to be observant. And, this and... is Costanza setting up all the Twix bars. Why would I look at the bottom? I'm not trying to win a contest. <laughs> what is wrong with you? What, what fucking radio school did you go to where it's fool the host? And this other one that you call McDonald's fuzzy, maybe the ice is melting, but it takes a lot more water down to me. Yeah, it's uh, it seems lighter on every aspect uh, compared to the number two Coke. Well, you satisfied with this? Yeah, yeah, this is totally different. I mean, I don't know why it's different. Or care. But um, it is definitely different. So I'm not crazy. Or interesting. The two things you are or not are crazy or interesting. Or, Earl, you consider this good radio? Is this going to make it best of? Um, Probably not, no. no. Well, guess what? I get paid the same. So you won't see me sweating it. One thing, this is XM. I'm not going to be walking back and forth going like this. Hey, did the book come out yet? Call me as soon as we find out. That trend come in? That's Owen A's worries right now, my friend. I don't miss it at all. I'm living... Well, you... What? No one ever fucking took it back to you, Earl. Have the promotions numbers come in yet? How many t-shirts did we give out last month? <laughs> How many t-shirts did we give out? All right, Bill wants to help us out here. Hey, Bill, you're on Fez. Hey, morning, boys. How hey, you doing? Well, I'm doing great, pal. How are you? Ah, just peachy. Hey, listen, you know, you guys are missing the obvious. First thing, uh, McDonald's is a major conglomerate. They can't waste shit on coke. They can't waste time on nothing. Everything's computerized. Everything's calibrated on their machines. Second thing, look inside that cup, and what do you see? You see a bunch of ice. Ice is made of water. The water's got to have a certain flavor in order to give it to everything. You guys don't have the right answers. Come on. Talk to a regional manager like me, and you get the answers. What are you, your regional manager of uh, McDonald's? I'm a Regional manager for McDonald's out in Northern California. I got one more thing for you guys there. Yeah. Ramon, has some pussy. Hey, Bill. I got one thing for you. You're regional manager of McDonald's. That means 11 bucks an hour. <laughs> Fez and Ramon are fucking uh, laughing at that one. That means he gets to play Ronald sometimes at some of the birthday parties. Uh, Mike, you're on Ronald Fez. Go ahead, Mike. Hey, yeah, I, I used to work at Coca-Cola for six years on the bottling line there. I got my it's own the radio same, show, fuckface. It, it, it's the same exact stuff they put in the McDonald's Coca-Cola as they do everybody else. I'm Coke. figuring, Fez, while you're doing all this, Coca-Cola is not going to play games with their brand. They're not no, going to let don't. you get one Coca-Cola at one place, another Coca-Cola at another place. Because you know why, Fez? Why? Corporate suicide. Everything about these people is having everything the same every day of the week. But it's obvious that they taste different. One's got more ice in it. That's the only obvious thing. One seems watered down. Well, then that would be some sort of tampering with it. Ice? 
If you're put, if it's got like more soda fountain water in it. No ice. It seems like a very drastic flavor change for ice to be the answer for this. Well, you're gonna have to get the bottom of it of your own time, Fez. I'm telling you right now, Coca Cola is not gonna play games with that. Uh, let's call Coca Cola if we can. Or where are they, Atlanta? Yeah, they're based in Atlanta. Get a hold of them. Tell them we're having a horrible argument and we need them to solve it. Uh, Kevin, you're on running Fez. Yeah, um, I was just want to say I'm in Tennessee and everything down here is called Coke. No pop, no soda, just Coke. What are you talking about? What do you mean everything's called a Coke? Like Mellow Yellow, Mountain Dew, we call it all a Coke. No matter well, what it is. Well, if you want a 7 Up, right? Yeah, we say Coke. Well, how the hell do you get the 7 Up then if you go into a place and ask for a Coke? Then they ask you what kind you want. What kind of Coke? Yeah. Then we say 7 Up or, sun or whatever. You're taking an extra step. I know, but... That's, that's like saying, oh, when, well, you know what we call eggs? Pancakes. And then I buy what are pancakes. What kind of pancakes you want? Eggs. Where? Kevin? Uh-huh? You seem like a nice man, but there's a reason why you lost the war. You take too much time to get to the point. You know why, know, Fez? But... When they wanted bullets, they were going like this. Can I have some shrimp? What kind of shrimp? Bullets. <laughs> Where I grew up, that's we did the same the thing. It is. Everything was called a Coke. When you said everyone did the same thing, I thought you meant your mom. Not that thing. I don't know. I don't I don't know the southern ways. I was talking about Coca-Cola. Everything was called a Coke. Everything was a Coke. And then, yeah, B, what kind of Coke do you want? Give me a Dr. Pepper. What if you wanted a Coke? Then I think you would just say a regular Coke. That's crazy talk. How hot was it that you don't even know what to fucking name things? It was so, it was very hot. What did you call a cat? A dog? Oh, what kind of dog do you have? Cat. No, we. You see where cat. it doesn't make sense? Yes, it's, it totally doesn't make sense. Why weren't you the guy to hop up and go? This is madness. <laughs> this isn't a coke. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, that's against the law. You can't call something else a coke. Like if you go into a restaurant and all they have is Pepsi, right? Right. And you go, uh, I'll have a coke. They have to go out, uh, the way to go is Pepsi okay. They can't give you a Pepsi because it's a cola. And let you think that it's a Coke. Right. So you're saying you can go in if you want a grape knee high, you say I want a Coke. Yeah. And then they say what kind? Then you'd say grape knee high. The grape. I don't understand the extra step. It seems like it would be an easier step just calling everything a Coke, but then it does come back to catch up to you. How would it be easier if you call everything the same name? Well, you have one name for everything. That's what makes it easier. How can that be easier if you're no longer able to distinguish things by names? This is why we name things, Fez. <laughs> it's like if everybody's name was Fez. Right. It wouldn't be easier. It would be harder. Because if I if I went, I want to talk to Fez. Which one? Get me the gay one who calls everything a Coke. <laughs> I'm sure it was meant to start out easier. But it just, I think it was, you know, kind of like with a Xerox. Not every copier is a Xerox. But that's what it gets called. Called? <laughs> no, it's a completely different thing. Because no one asks, go get me the Xerox. That doesn't happen. But people say, get me a Coke fucking 900 times a day. I don't think I've ever asked anyone to bring me a Xerox machine. <laughs> I could give two shits about it. It was a catch-all, and it just didn't work. What do you call milk? A Coke? No, I call that milk. Well, that's another beverage. No, this was related just to sodas. Well, you didn't even call them sodas. I know. That's the problem. We call everything a soda. And then we call Cokes, Cokes. See, it's the exact same thing if someone said, I want a soda. You know, the whole time that you were arguing and didn't figure out what you were drinking, guys in blue uniforms were picking you <laughs> off one after another. This came much later. How do you know? It was when I was a kid. Exactly. The cradle of the <laughs> Civil War. Mama... It's hot in here. Can I have a Coke? Yeah, Fezzy, what kind of Coke? Bread. Bread Coke. 
and put that in a Coke. Thank you, Mama. By the way, I'm going to go out to the Coke box and see if the Coke is here. Everything's a Coke with you folks. Just sodas. Not everything. Not every noun. You say just sodas, but you didn't even have the word soda. Yeah. So, we, I mean, we never called anything soda. We never called anything a pop. How long would it take babies to figure this out? Till they're like seven <laughs> or eight? I'd be going like this. I don't understand. That's when I first noticed it. When? That, that everything, like seven or eight years old, that everything was a Coke. Do you ever notice, like, on TV, people divide up things? They don't call everything the same name? Yeah. What if you wanted a Pepsi? Then you would say, you know, after... You'd say, I'm going to get a Coke, but you would take a Pepsi out of the cooler. All right, but here's... The, <laughs> all right, let's suppose you wanted a Pepsi, right? Right. You come up to the store. I'm running the store. Okay. What can I get for you? I'd like a Coke, please. Here's your Coke. I'd like a Pepsi Coke. What the fuck you <laughs> wasting my time for? And it, you called it a Pepsi <laughs> Coke? I'm sure I did as a kid. Well, that doesn't make sense. A Pepsi Coke. Yeah. If I'm running a store, I'm running a 7-Eleven. Right. Which you probably call a Coke house. And someone walks in and asks for a Coke, I'm going to hand them a Coke. And then if they go, no, Pepsi, I'm going to say, what the fuck did you just say Coke for? I just stick my hand all the way down here, ice up to my armpit to get you the wrong thing. They would probably say, what kind of Coke do you want? If I If I was that vague to say Coke. But if I, all right, let's suppose I walk into the store. Okay. I come all the way down from up north. Right. I like a Coke, please. What kind would you like? A fucking Coke. How many times <laughs> I got to sit here all day? What do you mean, what kind? We have Pepsi, we have 7 Up, we have Dr. Pepper. That's why I didn't ask for an M. I asked for a Coke. <laughs> Could you leave the store, sir? Why don't you throw me out, Johnny Reb? <laughs> crazy fucking place down there now they don't do it anymore in florida no i was down in florida so somehow someone stopped these people right yeah i know it was in my neighborhood i mean i don't well but why are you acting like it's so like it makes sense to you when you know at some point as people moved <laughs> in and and retaught you folks how to speak <laughs> when i was a kid it did make total sense to me right but the fact is somebody had to stop it Right. As more and more people came to Florida, I'm sure now it's called, you know, soda. Bro, I lived there for a lot of years. I never saw this transaction that you talked <laughs> about. Never saw it once. And I bought Coke before. Believe me, have I bought Coke before. Uh, Mark, you're on running Fez. Yeah, I miss friendly John Mayer. I really do. Um, What's that Ronnie, mean? I'm glad you pointed out something before that I've noticed myself. Fezzi's voice is getting less and less gay by the year. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Dan Hilliard? Dan. Uh-oh. He was so close. My real name, Dan, has gotten out. <laughs> oh, no. He was so close to being able to pull something off. I think Wikipedia has it wrong. I look like a Dan. Do you think? No, I don't think so. What do you think you look like? I probably look like a... Uh, like um, Robert, I think. Bobby? Yeah. Well, you'd probably go by Robbie. Yeah, I'd probably go by Bobby, I think. I don't see you as a Bobby. No? Or what do you see Fez as? He looks like uh, like an Andrew on Andy. <laughs> see, I don't feel like... I don't think I look like you, an Andy. You, you could be an Andy. You think so? Like, hi, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> I think, if anything, your nickname should be Flapjack. Flapjack? Hey, where's Flapjack? <laughs> oh, he's getting a Coke. I'm not even, like, known for my Flapjacks or ordering Flapjacks. If I ask Fez for a Coke, he'd come fucking wear, uh, come down the street with a spare tire. Just fucking, got that Coke for you! I don't know. You're not uh, comfortable with your name, right? No, never have been. Whatever happened with Tappy? Tappy is not a good name, and it's not my name. Jay Moore's calling you Tappy right now. Always tells, so that's my favorite part. <laughs> Shut up, Tappy. Jay Moore may get a cease and desist. Speaking of which, uh, he didn't call us. Though. I don't know why he's breaking the streak. 
You probably got to see some desist about Opie. Stop fucking around with all the other shows. You know where your bread is butter, Dad Jay. Do I look like a Carl? I I don't. No one looks like anything. You know what people look like, Fez? What? The name their parents gave them. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, Flapjack. My parents did not give me the name Flapjack. I feel like trying to figure out which steak tastes better right now. I feel I started this taste test and never got past the <laughs> beverage. Oh, your mom ever make any more sweet potato pie? Um, no. I mean, when I got there to pick it up, she had made like three pies, and you know the kids were all over it already. Yeah, that was phenomenal. All sweet potato? Is that what you mean? It's really nice to finally get. A dessert brought in by the staff that you could just say he hit the ball out of the park. What are you talking about? My mom brought in a chocolate cake. It's it was, not chocolate. First of all, it was a yellow cake with chocolate icing, and it was it was terrific. It was a box cake, and I'm not fucking putting her down for it. I say God bless her. She poured a box in. <laughs> she baked it. She fucking brought it here. I ate it. Fez acted like he was choking to death. Uh, I don't know how much it was ball busted and how much he meant. I meant most of it. Because Just about 99%. She had to work for 45, 50 minutes. Bullshit. To make that cake. That was a fucking easy bake oven. Till the microwave timer went off? No. I just like Earl's um, mom's sweet potato pie because finally it was something that Earl bragged about and then the pie actually backed it up. Well, there's other things he came through with, Fez. TV on the radio. After you saw them on Letterman, he came running in here with the CD. Been a fan for years. And I saw you enjoying that, Tappy. We still trying to get Coke on the air? I forgot all about that. I see Pizza, Pitsy working on it. Same. Yeah, we're still trying to get him all, get a hold of like, someone from the media relations department. What else does your mom know how to cook, girl? Uh, Catfish? Um, actually, she makes amazing lasagna. She, um... Lasagna? That's crazy talk. You're st you got an Italian stand behind you with a phone. He's going to start hitting you like you're De <laughs> like he's De Niro. No, she loves Italian food. She loves making it. She loves eating it. and she makes Black chicks love Italian guys, by the way. That's a fucking true story. If the fucking word ragu comes out of Earl's mouth, I'm going to choke him right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I bet it will. Because you know what? Every one of those black guys loves SpaghettiOs. Every black kid I ever known, oh, we're having SpaghettiOs tonight. Earl, you'll still see walking around with a can of Chef Boyardee. My mom would have killed herself before she ever used that. <laughs> Your mom had stuff like that? Um, would you have a Coke with every meal? No. Uh, my mom made her own spaghetti sauce, but it was never that great. <laughs> what an awful thing. <laughs> if I said that, my mom would never stop crying. Uh, Scott. Scott, you're on of Fez. Hey, uh, this is uh, Scott from Largo, Florida. Fezzy, I grew up in Pinellas Park. They never called it a Coke. I don't even know what you're talking about. I also grew up in Pinellas Park, and Are yes, you, we If did. you're bullshitting, as you got us, Fez. That's a great story. I, I am know. not bullshitting. I, Fezzy, I, I mean, where's Pinellas Park? Because I'm right off of uh, US-19 in Overton, and we never called it a Coke ever. I'm 39. We always called it a Coke First of all, in my Fe neighborhood. Fez grew up at 39, mean? so... Fez was down there during the fucking... There was still tumbleweeds going around Florida. I am not pre-World War II. Seriously? Seriously. Then I owe you a plug nickel. <laughs> Just saying Fez as some newspaper boy with his hat on sideways. Uh, gee, fellas, anybody want to get me a Coke? My girl just did it with his hat. <laughs> uh, hey, extra, extra, everybody. Mussolini's dead. Mussolini's dead. I am not that old. Fez just running into his uh, into his third grade class. Lindbergh is landed. <laughs> Lindbergh is landed. Everybody do the Charleston. Here, give me a Coke. What kind? Lemonade. I am not that old, and I am. I was never a newsie. You're nosy. Oh, I'm nosy, all right. Uh, here's Bobby. Bobby, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, boys? Love the show. Yeah. Hey, Ron, you're giving these guys all this shit, but earlier you said, hey, we can't give it. I lost you, bro. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. Can we you got you? Ronnie? 
Yeah, I mean, I said, you're giving these guys all that shit about saying uh, the Coke and whatnot, but earlier you said Buffalo came up with the chicken wing. I think the chickens came up with the chicken wing. Buffalo came up with the buffalo wing. Let me tell you something. They were fucking useless. Nobody had these things to black people. <laughs> Only blacks had them for 400 years because white people, when they were finished with a chicken, they chucked the wing out. A couple of black guys out there. We could do something with this. <laughs> we could do something with it. We were always very resourceful. Whatever you had to do, that pig's foot, whatever the fucking white man would chuck out the back window, there'd be Earl's family with a catcher's mitt. I got it. Mama got shortening, shortening, shortening. Mama got shortening. You really should have stopped at the chitlin, though, Earl. You don't like chitlins? No, I don't. Why? Oh, there's a stink to them. Stink to those intestines. You eat them turnip greens, though, don't you? Oh, I love those. Biting the bad part off the fucking turnip. <laughs> that I'm into. Potato skins, turnip green, anything that should be chucked out. Any of the wrapping paper that comes with the food. Uh, here's uh, Rob. Rob, you're on Manifest. How are you, buddy? What's going on, guys? Yeah. Hey, three things. You go to a restaurant, you either order a Coke. If you don't want a Coke, you order diet and say diet or tea. That's it. But go Gators. What if you want a Pepsi? See, you don't, they don't even know. Who really knows what they're carrying? Coke products or Pepsi products? Who cares? You just order a Coke, you order diet, or you order tea. I don't know why you're saying it. Coke. Hey, y'all. Who wants a Coke? Give me a Coke off that joint, y'all. I'm drinking Coke. He's not making sense, Fez. He says there's only a couple of beverages in the world. You're saying no matter what the beverage is. Exactly. You call it a Coke. We call it everything. It all fell under that uh, word Coke. This is why most of you guys go third, fourth grade before you finally just drop out of school. <laughs> When you finally start hearing all these different words for things. There's a southern accent. Just everybody loves Petty down there, drinking Coke. You gotta have out her tea. Hey, y'all going to that Mount Mile Hat show? They rock. Uh, here's uh, Casey from Texas. You're on Fez. And I'm with I'm with uh, on this one. We still call it Coke, and the farther you get out of the city, it's even worse. The, that Coke umbrella encases all soda drinks. Maybe it's the Bush states, Florida and Texas. First of all, if you want to know the truth about the fucking Bush states, both those guys come from fucking New England, but you're dumb enough to call them cowboys. You uh, gave your whole fucking there. state away to a couple of guys from Yale. It's like those kids were planted as seeds into those other states. Yeah, at age 40. Right. I mean, he didn't show up there until he was how old? I don't know when Jeb showed up in Florida. I thought W, like, went to high school or whatever in Texas. What a high school or whatever. You don't know what that's <laughs> called down there? Got himself Coke. Yeah, he's a cowboy. He's got a cowboy hat. You ever see him on a horse? Never. He has a cowboy hat and a bicycle. Everybody acts like he's a regular guy. That's fucking crazy. That's at the truck ranch. I think they call it a truck ranch. Get on a horse if you're a cowboy. Or else just put on a bicycle helmet. You can't You can't have... And then... <laughs> you'll never see a guy just wearing a bicycle helmet around like in a bar. That's bullshit. You wear a cowboy hat, you should be riding a horse... And you should be rounding and shit up. You should be chasing cows down. Something is it's just business attire, like J.R. Ewing. J.R. Ewing rode a horse. Yeah. He had a ranch. His ranch had horses. Uh, w has a ranch. All he has is brush to clear uh, for bike paths. Constantly <laughs> riding a bike. And then he gets back to the house, puts a hat on. Yeah, had a hell of a bike ride today. The brush always seems dead, and yet there's always more to clear. Like that dead brush is just growing out of control on the Crawford Ranch. You know what they call that uh, brush in West Texas? That's a forest. They're very, very proud of that. I saw them throw a couple lights on there and call it a Christmas tree. It's another tumbleweed Christmas. Oh, they're dumb as dirt down there. Get me, Coke. <laughs> By that, I mean a pair of pants. 
It was just limited to soda where I grew up. I don't even believe the story. I believe that other guy from Moment 10 to 19. He gave me the real story, Fez. I don't believe him. Well, how come if I go down there now, won't anybody do it? Maybe you got to find some of the real red people. Believe me, I go to Florida, I see red people. I see nothing but. Maybe you got to go a little more backwoods. Black people are fucking red down there. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> Further into the swamp. The black people down there hate ends. That's the fucking problem with Florida. <laughs> it's not very progressive. Hey, what do you go? Hey, what do you say? We all go and string up a colored guy. And I'm going, well, you're black. That's the fucking problem with your plan, you maniac. Hold on, Fuzzy. Spacey's got some news for us. Spacey! Spacey, you're going gangbusters. <laughs> Everybody loves you. Excellent. Nice work grabbing those Cokes. Well, he's given us different places that uh, call things pop, soda, or Coke. Different, uh, and you know, if I, it's a phone book full of it, Fez. Right. If I had a couple of years, I would do it. To decipher it. Yeah. I can't imagine. I don't know why uh, you can get away with that. I know uh, in high school I had a friend. Uh, no, you didn't. Yes, I did. I guarantee you. By a friend, your mom used to drop you <laughs> off and pick you up. I know you never had a friend. Invisible? No, real. He had moved there. Could he fly? No, he could not. He was human, and he had just moved there from Pennsylvania, and he used the term pop. And that was the first time I heard anyone say pop without the word like soda attached to it. I remember everyone looking at him going, where's this pop word coming from? What am I supposed to do with this story of yours? This this little piece of nostalgia. Pinellas Park nostalgia. As it helps fill out the map of where pop, soda, and coke is used. I couldn't be more bored with that map. Uh, I gotta go to the radio shark. He's been hanging up there a while. If not, he'll call back as Bert and then yell something out. What's up, radio shark? You know... Maybe you didn't have a Coca-Cola at all, Fez. Maybe you just dreamed you had a Coke. And maybe everything like the McDonald's, this radio show, and your surroundings are all an illusion, and you're still in the hospital, sedated and can't wake up. You know, I'm not really the radio shark. I'm your conscious, your inner voice. And I'm here to help you. I'll show you. Look down at your hand. I put a gun there. And you're pointing it at Dave. Now watch. Why don't you pull the trigger? Now, did you shoot Dave or not? We don't know. Sit back, sunshine, and enjoy the show. There's nothing you do is real. It's all up to me if I tell you so. Now, dream on. In fact, dream me hanging up. Boy, I'd love to hear that guy pull off a phone call someday. What the hell does that shit even mean? I have no idea. I'm not in a coma. If it went on for another seven minutes, I'd call him Sleeves. <laughs> I shouldn't even have to express that to people. Tell them that I'm not in a coma. Down there in Florida, you call it a coma. Can let her live. A coma's alive. A coma's alive. Well, who was that woman, Fez, down there? Uh, Terry Schiavo. Mm. Terry Schiavo, that was basically, if you remember, that's the woman they pulled the plug on and everybody was crying and praying out front. She was in Pinellas Park. When they would pull back on the CNN picture, you'd see Fez's house. You'd see his dad out there with a backhoe trying to clear the back 40. Anytime we had company, during, while that vigil was going on, my dad would say to people, you want to go down the street and see where the Terry Schiavo stuff's going on? So it really became a, a tourist attraction for him. We can get a Coke. No, I wouldn't went down there anyway. I would have just went down there with one sign that said, Death Before Dishonor. Just a minute, what does that mean? It's the code I live by. It's a code I live by. Uh, Mark. Mark, you're on the Ron Fez Show. How are you, pal? We got you, buddy? Yeah, yeah, you got me. Yeah. 
you guys are making this whole Coke issue way too hard. Calling everything a Coke's like calling every automobile out on the road a car. Wow, he's a fucking idiot. Be like calling every automobile Ford. No matter what it was. Because it's the name brand. Right. <laughs> Put up a point on the Fez thing. Let's keep it up with the show today. Say, I know what's going on. Beautiful. 